Hey guys, my name is Charles Oslin here with Liquid Blue Cabaret in Cabaret, Dominican Republic. And people sometimes ask me, which harness do I use for kiteboarding? And also they ask me if I use a harness when I'm wing foiling. The answer with wing foiling is that I don't use a harness, but for kiteboarding, I do. So here, I have two harnesses that I use interchangeably. This is the Manera EXO. 2022, it's the XO2. And this is the Manera Eclipse, which is the latest version as well. There is another harness in the lineup, which is called the Halo. I have been using it. Great lightweight, sort of innovator style harness that is uh, different and unique in the market, especially with the offering for the price point. Though I don't have any more right now with me and it was such in high demand that even my own personal one, I passed it along to someone else, so now I'm just waiting for my other Halo to arrive. But I have been using the Eclipse since its inception. One of the first prototypes uh, I managed to get my hands on and used it for many, many years. And then now recently I've uh, upgraded to the new one where they just changed a little bit of the foam. So you essentially have a super comfortable foam in the inside non not really adjustable velcro in the inside so when you get the eclipse you really need to size it right because these pull tabs they don't stretch out like other harnesses back in the day did so you really want to make sure that before buying your harness unless you know exactly what size you are to try it out if you have the chance so once you get this wrapped around you super comfortable you're always gonna have the tuck flap which is the F1 Monero signature in having the spreader bar not to move. And then very simple connection. Once you're connected, you lock yourself in and you're not gonna go anywhere. You can attach your leash to the spreader bar. I always just attach it right up here because sometimes I change them out, but you can attach it down here and you can have your leash very close. So that's the Eclipse. It's a bit of, um, it's a hard shell, though not so hard where it's just uncomfortable. It still has a bit of flex because of the design and it just makes it that it's nice, lightweight and feels good on your back. In terms of the EXO, the EXO2, it's also the same idea. It's a, it's a hard shell with a very soft inside, though the biggest difference in my opinion it's just that the back is a little bit bigger. So it just feels like you're, you're on a cloud, your back's on a cloud. And how I would put it is that this is more of a Mercedes feel. So a little bit more on the comfort side. And this is a bit more performance, Ferrari, Lamborghini. So it's still comfortable, but you, you get some pros and some cons depending on which one you go with. And on top of that, here you have, as I mentioned, the main difference, which is the tabs for wrapping around your waist are more adjustable. So here, you're gonna have some play on the sizing. When for the Eclipse, I would really recommend that you get the right size for you. Other than that, you have the same connections where you got your tuck flap that goes in, close it up, and you can still attach your leash wherever you want. So in any case, if you're debating between going with the Eclipse or the XO2 and or even the Halo, the first thing is always to try out whatever harness it is that you're thinking to buy if you have the chance. But if you don't have the chance, if you want something that you're more cruising, less performance, just more mowing the lawn, going back and forth, then the XO is a great option. If you're a little bit more on the performance side, you want something that's a little bit more slimmer around your waist, a little bit lower profile, then the Eclipse is a great option. You can change the spreader bar for a rope spreader bar, though I, regardless if I'm wave riding, foiling, or jumping, or just mowing the lawn, I always use the hook. I'm not a big fan of the rope yet, but then again, I haven't given it much time to sort of sink in. So I enjoy this trusty hook. Uh, it's never failed me, it's never gone wrong, and that's sort of my style with that. So that being said, guys, this was the quick review between the Eclipse, 
and the XO2 of Monero. A little bit of talk about the Halo, but I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't have it in my hands. Though the Halo is honestly a great option for everyone as well because the sizing gets very specific and the comfort is there. And also when you get that harness, it comes with both the rope and the hook system and it's just great. So in any case, when we get around to doing a review of the Halo, you'll know more about that. You can probably find some reviews online. But for now, the XO2 and the Eclipse are amazing harnesses that either one you can't go wrong. All right guys, enjoy. I'll leave you with the view of Cabaret.